Hello everybody, this time I'm going to present you some information about the drawings in the present perfect. Let's start with knowing what is a drone. Drones are ing forms of verbs. What is the structure of this is the base form of the verb, any verb plus an ing. Durants uh, might be affirmative and negative. The negative forms are made by place, not before the ing form. Here we have some examples. This is an affirmative. Why Juan is eating now? And this is a negative. And Juan is not eating now. Not before the ing form. And uh, next, we are going to see the most common uses of gerunds. Gerunds are used as subjects of sentences. Here we have some examples. And it is swimming is an excellent exercise. Drinking too much coffee gives him a headache. This is a subject. These are subjects. Here we have a negative subject. Not doing his homework cause him a fire the chest okay and they are used to as objects of some verbs what does it mean is that we can use germans after some verbs in here we have some examples and we have dislike and it's doing here dislike after dislikes we use the german form suggested and then we have habit proposed meeting look forward to seeing here we have these are used as complement of the subject so here is the subject his hobby and this is the children is playing computer games my least favorite chore is cleaning this is the subject, this is the complement of the subject. His um, problem okay, is not coming. Here we have a negative German, but it is a complement of the subject. And the last is when uh, we used gerunds after prepositions. We have lots and lots of prepositions. Here are just some of them as examples. Look at this one, we have before, before is a preposition, and then after it, after it is going to be a around going. Here, I'm tired of is the preposition, are you in is the around. These are used for cracking walnuts. And I pass the exam by remembering the equations. Now, um, let's check some rules for the writing of the ING. This is important. Um, when the verb, we talk about in here, in here, we talk about the base form of the verb, okay? Here it is, watch. Watch ends in one vowel. This is the vowel, my friends, I. And uh, two consonants it's in here, but in this case we have three, which is okay. One vowel, two or three consonants, which is add I and G. And watch becomes watching as a children. Double vowel when consonant. Here we have these are the vowels E and I. And then this is a consonant, double vowel, one consonant, and again, which is add ing. Here it is, single vowel, which is this, and single consonant, which is this. U is a single vowel, N is a single consonant. What do we do to run this, to write this journal is to double the consonant here the consonant is n so we double the consonant and add i n g because remember my friends all gerunds have to end in i n g 
when the base verb, the base verb ends in e. Here we have this one example is write. We don't write the e in the gerund, we just add ing. And the last one is when a base verb ends in y, we keep the y and then add ing. Here we have examples study, studying by buying. Okay? And now what do we have in here next? Are they just exercises to write um, subgerunds to complete the sentences? You please review, check, and now you have in here the answers. I suggest you to do first the exercises and then check the answers. Okay. Another topic that I would like to explain here to you is the present perfect. Basic information I'm going to give you here about this uh, grammar. Present perfect. Present perfect is used to say that an action happened at a specific time before now. That means in the past. And the exact time is not important. If it says here on an, a specific time, it means that exact time is not important. We don't know the exact time, but what we know is that the action, the activity was in the past. And it is used um, to with an specific expression, such as Eva, Neva, once, many times, several times, before, so far, already yet. And specific, it means they are not given the exact time, okay? And it is not used, it is not used with a specific time expressions, such as yesterday, one year ago, last week, when I was a child, and so, and so on. Okay, notice please the difference between the unspecific and a specific. This means no time expressions and here yes time expressions the structures of the present perfect is has or have plus the past participle these two elements has to be always in there and here we have the affirmative structures i have studied or he has written have is for i you we and i and has is for the third person he she and it this is the negative form, you have not eaten, he has not eaten, and this is the question, have you brushed your teeth, has the woman left? My friends, notice that we always, always have has or have and the past participle, have or has and the past participle, and have or has and the past participle, always. It doesn't matter if they are affirmative, negative, or questions. And there is another little thing here which is present perfect is used with since and for. Since we use with fixed time in the past, it means a point in the time. That is 2004 for example, April the 23rd last year. Here we have some examples and it says I have not carried since to 1924, or she's been here since 2 p.m. This is a time, a point in time, it's not a period, okay? Uh, we can use um, to as a fixed time in the past some expressions in simple past, like since I was at school or since I arrived. And here we have an example and it says, I like chocolate since I was a child. A point in time again. And we use it with, with for with a period of time. What is a period of time? A period of time is when we know when the time starts and when the time finish. For example, uh, two hours, three hours, um, three years, six months. And here we have some examples. I've known Julie for 10 years. I've, known, I've been hungry for uh, hours. 
and she's had a cold for, for a week. Definite time, a specific time, periods of time. And then here again we have some examples and I suggest again you to do the exercise and then check the answers. Okay? Okay, remember my friends, I always here for help to help you and uh, it is always nice to have your questions. That means that you are trying and learning. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.